this is Rolf Versus with Horizon. Here to give you an update on the mining algorithm potential change decision that the team came to. And we told everybody that we'd announced before the end of August. So I'm not going to keep you in suspense. I'm going to tell you about what it is we're doing and why we're doing it. So first of all, we're not going to change the existing Equihash algorithm. We thought about doing that when ASIC miners first came out and uh, they were a lot more efficient than the GPU miners that have been mining Horizon for quite a while now, well over a year. And the reason that we were concerned was of a potential centralization and a potential um, threat to the security of the project itself. In fact, during about that same time, we had a 51% attack, um, a double spend attack against one of our exchange partners that really highlighted the potential problem of having a lot of mining hash power with one organization. Since that time, we've watched and seen what other projects have done. We've explored different alternatives to do. And as well, we've watched the activity of the miners as well as we can figure it out. Now, many of y'all may know that I'm a cryptocurrency miner as well. I've been doing that for a while. And I, have, I mine a whole bunch of different uh, cryptocurrencies, some with ASICs and some with GPUs. And as a GPU miner, I would love to be able to have the ability to mine Horizon for a while longer with my GPUs. However, as part of the leadership of the project, it's important that we look at the Horizon project security as a whole and why and talk through what's the, the best thing for uh, the project to do. During this process, of course, we talked to lots of different people in the community as well as uh, all the uh, Horizon team. And as many of you probably know, uh, the majority of the Horizon team came from the community. They were just people that like to contribute a lot and wanted to be able to do that for a significant period of time, for a long time. So that's, that's where the Horizon team comes from. And there are certainly two sides to, and, and many arguments as to why we should not change the algorithm and, and why we should. But overall, the security of the project is a primary concern. Secondary are that we have a lot of other development activity that we have to get done that's on our roadmap. We've committed to the community to accomplish, and we need to get through this so that we can turn, after all the software development, testing, and implementation is done, we'll have uh, implemented what we originally laid, laid out in our white paper. So let me talk through this a little bit. OK, so no change to the existing algorithm. Now, that's the decision that we've made right now. One of the things that is important for us to implement is governance and voting so that um, when uh, large questions that affect the entire community and project come up, these can be put to a vote. So one of the things that our developers are focused on extensively is getting the um, side chains implemented so that we can get the treasury and governance as well as the distributed node tracking and payment applications going. Those are really important parts of the project. Now, as we go through some of these different things that we talked about, the, the decision, the major decision is for the security of the project. And we've been watching how the potential 51% attack has played out as people have been getting the uh, ASIC miners into their hands and, and started mining them. Well, first off, we have two ways of preventing the previous 51% attack uh, that we had. The first is uh, there's a development update that's in progress. It's on our internal development net, and it's making its way to the test net soon. This is a upgrade and a change to the Satoshi consensus algorithm, or Satoshi consensus rule, so that part of the reason why cryptocurrencies are able to be 51% attacked is if someone can mine um, in private, away from the rest of the miners and uh, all the nodes that are out there, and come up with a longer chain that has 
uh, a change, a double spend, and then release that double chain and, and uh, that longer chain and show everybody uh, that the chain is longer, then everything switches over to longer chain. So the update is a change to that consensus mechanism where if someone mines uh, a number of blocks uh, without uh, presenting them to the rest of the network, it'll be penalized. Now, I'm not exactly sure how that, this is going to work. Uh, I do know that our developers have uh, completed the update and are testing it, and there's iterations into the testing and development, of course, um, but we're going to see that on the test net and then uh, hopefully here on the main net within a month or two. That's my expectation. The second thing is we've been watching the percentage of the overall hash rate that's available to someone who wants to do an attack on the project. The most common place for that to be available is on nice hash. And when we had the 51% attack, that percentage was uh, in the mid hundreds, 150, 160, 170%. That means well over the amount that was needed to mount an attack on Horizon was available on nice hash. As ASIC miners have uh, come on to the, the, the scene and people are mining with them, that has gone down week after week after week. As I look at it today, it's around the 50% mark, which means there is not enough hash power available to rent on nice hash to perform an attack on Horizon. Based upon the trends, um, the team expects that this is going to continue to uh, just get better as, as more ASIC miners get on the scene. Furthermore, <clears throat> there are multiple ASIC miners, mining companies, that are selling miners out there. So when we first started, it was Bitmain. Now it's also in a silicon. And there are many companies that are coming out with Bitcoin mining uh, miners that I expect are also going to be doing miners for other algorithms, ones that uh, are pretty profitable. So I'd expect Equihash is going to be on the list of additional miners for these other companies to come out with. So that's, that's going to add to the security overall of the network. Furthermore, Horizon is more than just a different algorithm. So many ways, and for many of the cryptocurrencies out there, the big differentiator has been the mining algorithm. And, and some block time changes, uh, and some different wallets and a different community. But we have a lot more differentiating uh, aspects to Horizon than just the mining algorithm. So we've got our team vision, our team, our vision, our track record of success. So uh, it's been a while since I've done one of these videos, but you can both look back in the YouTube history. And um, this isn't the fanciest place to do a video, but it works. And so the things that we say that we're going to do, we get done. Building up that track record of success and trust um, that we're going to, when we say we're going to do something, we're going to do everything we can to get it done, that takes time. And we're putting in that time. We have lots of different wallet applications. Um, this is great. So it means that people all over the world that, uh, because we internationalize them, and then we have people, uh, our ambassadors, that go out and engage with meetup groups, with uh, all sorts of different uh, partners because we really want to get payment ecosystems going um, in many different places, especially where uh, privacy in payments is important. And um, so having international wallets and having uh, people on the ground showing folks how to use those wallets and talking to them about why Horizon is a great option for uh, private transactions is necessary. And, so, and we have that. Um, secured nodes, super nodes, and the treasury are all ways of distributing Horizon to people that aren't miners. Now miners have um, certainly bills to pay, and above and beyond that, then they can hold on to the different cryptocurrencies uh, that they mine. And uh, so many of them hold on to it if they have projects that they expect are going to continue to do well over time. With secure and super nodes and the people that we contract with through the treasury funds, it's a whole different way of distributing the horizon to a whole different communities. So we get a large amount of uh, horizon into many different people's hands all over the world. That was one of the arguments on why we should continue GPU mining is the GPU uh, mining 
is more uh, equitable, more uh, distributed all over the world. I think we've addressed that through the different ways um, that we uh, get Horizon funds out to people from the new funds that are created. And again, side chains are really important. They're a big differentiator for us. Um, having the different applications that we need for our internal use on the side chains, and then potentially opening those side chains up for third parties to put their applications on it. So that's how we differentiate, not just on our mining algorithm. So the big important reason on why we're not making a change is that this is the recommendation from our developers, our system administrators, and other people on the team. We talked about this internally, we studied it, um, and we came to a decision. Now we're letting everybody know about the decision. I look forward to the day when we have the ability to do true voting to find out what uh, everybody within the Horizon community would like to do. Who knows what we'll do at that point. Maybe we'll make a, a mining algorithm change to something that's more equitable. Uh, to, so there's CPU and GPU and ASIC mining. Maybe we'll move to proof of stake. I don't know. But those are things that we can get in place after we get all this development uh, done and released. So big picture, we feel we, were, we are significantly more secure with the changes that have happened um, from ASIC miners being more dedicated to Mining Horizon, as well as the 51% um, attack mitigation through the Satoshi Consensus Update. Based upon um, having security of the overall Horizon system as the priority to keep everything up and running, we've made the change, <laughs> made the decision to not change the existing mining algorithm. It's going to stay Equihash. If you have further questions, comments, I'm sure many people will. Uh, we'll take a look at them here in the bottom of YouTube, on the blog post, certainly on the Discord, and Telegram, um, heck, Twitter, whatever ways that uh, people like to communicate on social media, we're going to continue talking about this. So, Brawl for Sluice, Block Ops, uh, with Horizon, signing off. Thank you.